Well, I'm here with another roguelike, Taimesia. Taimesia is a third-person roguelike RPG that takes you along a journey through the memories of Corvus. Death has taken over the kingdom with what is believed to be a dangerous plague, consuming all it comes into contact with, turning them into evil mindless shells of the former selves. Upon starting the game, you wake up in safety and are questioned by a woman to help explain how you got here and what you know of this plague. So essentially, you are reliving all your old memories leading up to this point. It's an interesting spin on the lore behind this style of game. Like in many games, you're either gathering souls, blood, or ruins instead of just gathering straight up experience. Whereas in this game, you're gathering memories. And like Elden Ring and games in this nature, this is a bit of a tough one with a unique spin on the how the combat actually works. When you die, you spawn back at what is basically just a fire pit. These beacons are scattered throughout missions and are treated as both spawn points and a place to level up. There is a lot to upgrade in this game. With the memories you collect, you can upgrade your main level by selecting one of three options, strength, health, and plague abilities. Once you've selected that, you get to choose from up to six skill trees, saber, deflect, dodge, claw, feather, and strategies. And with all of these, you get better combos or just increase your overall combat effectiveness in different ways. But kind of like I mentioned earlier, what sets this game apart is the combat. They've kind of combined a few different combat styles into one to make this stand out. Your saber is your primary weapon that you use to inflict bleed damage, causing the most damage potential. But you cannot just kill an enemy by spamming the saber, as it only causes bleed damage and creates a massive green bar in their health to show up. So then you are forced to use your claw, and this doesn't cause any bleed damage, but permanently damages their health bar. So it's a combination of being forced to use a saber and claw in synchrony to take down your enemies. But you also get to use plague weapons. These weapons cannot be used many times and are basically a special ability that cause significant damage. There are multiple plague weapons as well that you can upgrade by collecting special shards scattered throughout the missions. And of course, all of these features are complemented by using the dodge and parry system in place. The parry doesn't immediately stop an enemy's combo, so you have to be mindful of that. It's like Sekiro, where you're stopping back-to-back -back attacks. They also have a feather ability, which is a weak ranged attack to kind of help you out in different situations be them combat or explore. And I guess getting into the exploring side of things, the game has a very linear feel to it. You can explore the maps in different ways as they have different paths scattered throughout them, but it never truly felt open. It's very much a point A to point B type of game. There are bits of lore scattered throughout the world to help make you further understand what the hell is actually going on here. The story is all told throughout text so you are forced to read a lot, and at the very beginning of the game, it kind of just took me out of the experience having to read text scroll down the screen. The graphics are decent, nothing special to write home about, the quick resume works masterfully on the Xbox Series X, every time I've used it, it has been seamless. So all in all, this game is decent. If you're a huge roguelike lover, I'd probably recommend this one to you, but I didn't necessarily jive with it like I would have liked to. The combat is really what stuck out to me, but having lame enemy types on top of mediocre graphics, it just made this all in all less enjoyable. So I guess if I was to score this, I'm gonna have to give it a 6. It is definitely an above average game, it didn't hit that good or great mark, like that 7 like I would have loved to have seen, The Surge, Dark Souls, Elden Ring, I mean all these games in my opinion do everything better, but the combat in this game is unique and I think that Dark Souls like lovers should check this one out.